What's up guys, you've your boy John GK back with another video. Guys, I thought I'd do another Joey Diaz video because the last one was just too funny. I had to do another one. Um, and I'm in, the, I'm in the mood for a bit of comedy today, man. I'm, a, I'm, in, I'm, uh, I'm in the mood. Sorry. Um, might be the coffee I've got. It's not Starbucks, but <laughs> it might be the coffee I have. But um, this is Joey Diaz, Laurie Jack. Maybe this is someone that they knew or they, they, they know that they're going to be talking about. I have no idea. But expect comedy expect it to be funny um and yeah guys before we start this video make sure you like turn on the notification bell and subscribe please subscribe guys i really would appreciate it we're trying to hit 10,000 subs um when, once i hit 10,000 subs man i will be so overjoyed um ever since i started this chat i think i started this channel what 10 months ago so listen guys you've done pretty well us, us, us as a team, those of you that have subscribed to your boy, we have done very well. But if we hit the 10,000 mark, hey, anything's possible, man. We can we can get to 100,000. I already said in my previous video, if we hit 10,000, I'll come on live. We'll do um, maybe some forfeits. Maybe you guys uh, can for do some forfeits with me or something like that. Or maybe you can dare me to do something funny. Maybe I'll have a few come on live and have a few drinks and we'll have a real you know discussion and, and deep talk um and then once we hit the hundred thousand subs i will be doing a giveaway i've already said that whether it's the playstation or a cash giveaway or maybe some trainers maybe a cash and and trainers or shoes um or sneakers if you're an american fan um but 100 percent, hundred thousand subs it was going to be a giveaway for real but yeah guys before we start whoa let's get straight into this video where am i going there let's go man my friend fucked his sister's best friend and he got something <laughs> he got vd he got vd and we went there the next day and there was a chick with like fucking like a phantom of the opera mark on her face no Dog, it was what? fucking crazy what no was the mark on her face? like she she had like syphilis or something oh that started God. here like she had a cut in her lip and she sucked the fucked up dick or something <laughs> And it ran. I'll never forget this. I, it's not even funny. It was really sad because I didn't know what she had. I just went there with my friend. My friend goes, you got to go in there with me, dog. I'm scared to walk in there. Whoa. I said, let's go. What's the big deal? They're going to give you pills, whatever. I didn't know. I wasn't sexually active at that age like he was. And we went in there while I was waiting for him, dog. This chick came in, did paperwork, and she turned around. No. And she had gotten something that started here. Like, she, you know, she had like a cut or what's that when you have chapped lips or something? Mm -hmm. And all this was like oh. purple and red. She sucked something mm. bad. <laughs> After that, I was like, whew, I gotta be careful out there. It's a jungle. That was the thing when we were kids, like someone has VD. Ah, oh, she's got VD. Be careful, he's got VD. You know, someone having VD was like, whoa, you hear? Do you hear? Betty got VD. Whoa. Ooh, that fucking girl got VD. VD? What the hell? There's then a girl on Facebook STDs. that's friends with me from high school, and her pussy wouldn't get wet. So they used to call her the dry hump, Fairview, New Jersey. They used to call her Fairview, New Jersey, the dry <laughs> Nah, this ain't funny. Come on. That's bad. <laughs> That's so fucked up. People are so fucked up. People are so fucked up. This girl was banging. This girl was fucking banging, though. So you'd have to, like, bring Vaseline or something? Yeah, she was from Wayne, New Jersey, and she was banging. She moved to North Bergen, like, and she was a sophomore. And she was dating a few guys and shit, and things happened. Like, I was friends with her. I knew she didn't like me. Like, she she just didn't like me for some reason. I didn't think the world of her either. <laughs> and one night in 84, I'm at a bar, and this bitch comes in. I mean, banging. 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 They also said she had some type of VD, so they called her Laurie Jack. You know, like, she's got the jack. <laughs> no, when they see DC sang a song, oh. she's got the jack. No jack, way. jack. So they used to call her name and Jack. Like, that was her name. Like, they, they just tormented this girl. Wow. And she wow, did, wow. like, a rocky, like, a rock guy that had, like, long hair and a rocker. shit. And one night I saw her. And rocky. She, <laughs> and she was banging Joe Rogan, right? Yeah. Banging. And I go, You live in North Bergen? And she's like, Yeah, I didn't go to college. I, I'm, a, I'm a nanny. I'm a nanny, and she told me the guy's name. And I knew that guy. That guy had a massage parlor years earlier. 
the guy that she was being a nanny for. And I go, I go, if she's his nanny, he's just fucking her. Something's got to be wrong. <laughs> she looked so good in that miniskirt. She disappeared like one thirty. And finally at like three, I'm sitting there. I'm like, what am I going to do tonight? And I had like a bag of Coke. I go, fuck it. I'm going to go get her. <laughs> so went, this is how crazy I was. I went to the dude's house. And she told me. I knocked on the door. It was 3.15 in the morning. <gasps> and he's no. like, Coco, what are you doing here? I go, I got to talk to Lori. There's something missing. He goes, hold on, Lori. And she came down and she comes outside. He's got a robe on. She's got a robe on. And I look her straight in the face. I go, listen. I got like two eight balls in my pocket. Get dressed. Let's get the fuck out of here. And she's like, I can't. And I go, you have to. And we we, we argued there for like 10 minutes. I'm like, I want to sell my pussy. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about the VD or the jack or the dry hump. I'm on fire. And she's like, well, give me 10 minutes. And I, I don't, how am I going to sneak out of here? I don't know. So I waited outside for her. She's like, I'll put Lou in bed and I'll run out. About 15 minutes later, I see her running out with her purse with like a bank deposit bag she's like fuck him i can't take him anymore fuck him we were on foot it's 4 30 in the morning i'm on Tony avenue in north bergen there's a bunch of those dirty hotels so i'm like oh i got a score here i got coke she's got money i'm gonna fuck her i'm excited we go back to a hotel we finally registered like 30 dollars they asked us if we wanted the, the jacuzzi in the room and shit. It was one of those dirty hotels on Tunley as you go into New York City. <laughs> oh, my days. We went in there. We walk in, and she goes, rule number one, you are not going to fuck me. It's five in the morning. There goes my <laughs> fucking. There goes this night. And all of a sudden, she looks at me. She goes, well, if you could guess the color of my panties, I'll fuck you. I'm no. Like, okay, no. Red. And she goes, they're green, but good enough. <laughs> We started snorting coke, <laughs> eating ass. I mean, guys, if this is too much, yeah, just it was filthy. just leave. <laughs> I woke up at five in the afternoon, and Doug Flutie was throwing that quarterback that touchdown. <sighs> In 1984 uh, or 83, Doug uh, Flutie, I was waking up. She was naked, ripped apart. I'm waking up, and Doug Flutie's throwing the touchdown. I got dressed and got the fuck out and never saw her again. Never said to her. I even robbed the money. I took everything. She pops up on Facebook about two years ago, and I'm like, Lori, how are you? She's like, fuck you, you fat faggot and all this shit. And she's like, you left me there that night, but we had a good time. Fuck yeah, we had a good time. That is so funny. Do you know what it is, yeah? that makes that story so funny is the fact that he was the one begging her and I, even though he was obviously under the influence of drugs but he was the one i'm gonna find her i'm gonna, I'm gonna do all this stuff finds her begs her to come out gets the hotel does what he needs to do and the next morning my man just robs the money <laughs> uh. And I will hit her back and go, what color are your panties? Uh, she goes, what's that supposed to mean? It's oh, fucking that's tremendous. Hilarious. That's I knew she hilarious. gave me something. She had something. <laughs> but I didn't give a fuck. It was 84. Rock Hudson was dying. I didn't use a condom. I knew the consequences. Oh, I'm oh like, my. fuck it. So I knew I was going to get something. And I probably did. I got crabs after that. No. The holidays. That, you know, that was 84. <laughs> I got crabs in the yeah, 84, 85 season. I got crabs. That's disgusting. I found out in the bathroom in Port Authority. I went to Port Authority to take a shit, and I pulled my pants down, and I'm sitting there reading the paper. What? I see a crab. Like, I saw something jump, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> heard it i never heard it nothing i went home and took my underwear off and got like a magnifying glass it was over it was all over me they were all over oh, the couch no I had to bring a bomb into the room like one of those fucking bug bombs and leave for 12 hours oh, did you really oh i grabbed up the whole fucking thing <laughs> it was crabbed up for like uh, a month dog. no oh lady no. next door knocked on my thing i was living in Tennessee, new jersey Lay next door and knocks. Do you have a bug problem? I'm like, no, no. I don't know what happened. Ever since spring. you moved in here, there's been crabs and shit. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Guys, man, that was, for me,
Oh. Even though those kind of stories are quite explicit and they're quite, you know, sexual, if you want to put it that way. They're so funny because it's like, you could just imagine this guy going through that. Um, it's just like, you, what? You were just sitting in the toilet seat and you just saw something. <laughs> Yeah, for me, man, he's really funny. Like, when it comes to, like, sexual comedy and explicit comedy, like, even though it is, sometimes it can be a bit, all like, it's a bit deep. Like, um, he, for me, he just, like, explains it so well. He just, like, I, I man, the amount of stories this guy must have is just unbelievable. Like, the crazy things this guy has been through is just unbelievable. But the way he explains it is what makes it funny. And you can just picture it in your mind, him actually doing it. It's just like, even it just makes it even more funny. Um, but listen, <laughs> if you guys are a little bit like, oh, a bit disgusted by it, man, like, that's just, that is just him all over, bro. Like, Joey Diaz, man, that is just him all over. Like, some of the things they must have got up to in the, in the 80s, like, the, the way he explains it, it must have been... It must have been crazy hectic, man. Like we, like in this generation, it's not bad at all. Like it's, it's really not. But some of the things that they probably used to get up to, man, it's just like, that's why it's nuts. Cause like, that's why I'm laughing. Cause it's like, whoa, like I can't even picture that. I can't even picture even somebody else doing that in this day and age, you know? But yeah, guys, <laughs> like I said, if you didn't enjoy it, man, I don't blame you because some of it was filth. Like some of it was just like, oh my days. But if you did, man, I hope you, I hope you did. But yeah, guys, you hear your boy Jordan GK, and I will see you in the next video.